Hey guys, I hope you're doing fine. This is Sankit here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add reflected text in your images. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now to add reflected text in your images, you need a free app called Snapseed. You can download this app from Play Store or App Store. So I've already downloaded it. So let's open the app. When you open the app, you can see there is a plus icon. You can click on that and import your image. Now, I have imported this image. Before adding the text, we'll do some standard adjustment. So for that, go to the tools, then tune image. Now here, we'll add some contrast, then some saturation, I think, yeah. Then ambience, then I'll reduce some highlights because you'll get the details in brighter areas and I'll also increase the shadows to get details in darker areas. Now I'll also increase some warmth. I got this beautiful image from Pixel site and this image is from Swiss Alps. So let's add the Alps text. Now to adding the text, you can go to the tools and select text. Now here at the bottom side, you can change the font of your text. Now I'll select this second number font L2, then double tap here to change the text. Now I'll write Alps. Firstly, I'll adjust the position of the text. I think it looks fine here. Okay. Now I'll save this. Now, next step is we have to add another text which is reflected and also turn 180 degrees Celsius. Now, how can we do that? We can just save one reflected text with black background. We will save this and we will import this text in this image again. I'll show you this. Now, first of all, what I'll do, I'll go to the stack option, then view edits. Now, the best thing of Snapseed is Snapseed stores each effect in layers. Now you can edit these layers, delete these layers, activate, deactivate or reactivate these layers again and again. So that's the beauty of this app. So what I'll do first, I'll deactivate the text layer. For that, you just have to click on the layers below. Now I'll click on tune image. As I said that we need black background. Now how can we achieve that? Using curves. If you don't know how curves work, you can see my video on that. I have already uploaded a video of curves. Now here, you know that the right upper point of your curves, it contains whites of your image. So if you pull this point downward, then it will remove all the white and it will turn your image into black color, pure black color. So I'll do that. Now here you can see that our image is turned into black color. I'll save this. Now what we'll do. Again, we'll go to stack option, view edits. Now go to the text. Now what we have done, we have activated the text layer. Now, as I said, you need to reflect this text. For that, go to tools, then rotate. And here on the left bottom side, you can see mirror. Now click on OK. Now we don't need this full image, we will just crop that area of the reflected text. For that go to the tools, then crop. Now here you can select freely crop and I'll crop it like this maybe, yeah. Then just save it and now you have to save this image. For that go to export, then click on save a copy. Now we don't need this black image. We don't need this reflected text. Now, how can we delete that? Simply go to edit into that layers and delete this. Now for that, go to stack option, view edits. Now what we don't need crop, then rotate. Then we need text, but we don't need the black, the curves that we use to turn our image into black color. Now we have deleted this curves also and just reactivate the text. Now, so now we have our image with normal text. Now we have to add reflected text to this image. For that, go to tools, then click on double exposure. 
Now here on the left bottom side, you can import the image. For that, click on that and select the recently saved image. Now for that, we have to turn it by 180 degree and adjust the position of the text. So that's what I'm doing. You can resize it. Like using two fingers, you can resize it and also reposition it. So I'm using two fingers and I'm doing this. So let's see where does it fits perfect. So I think this is perfect. Okay. Now you know that reflection is not always bold as our main text. So what we'll do, we'll reduce some opacity of this reflected text. For that, again go to the stack option, view edits. Then select this double exposure, the effect that we applied. And again, go to the setting of this effect. Now here on the right bottom side, you can reduce the opacity or transparency. I think this looks perfect. Okay. And now again, we'll click here on double exposure, the effect that recently applied, the effect of reflected text. And here you can click on this stack brush option. Now make sure that effect is enabled. You can simply enable the effect using this icon. Disable, enable. Now here also you can see this brush options. You can change the value of brush like 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Make sure it is set to 0. If it is 0, it means you are going to erase the effect. And if it is 100, it means that you are going to apply this effect. Now I want to remove this effect where the water starts. For that, I'll simply paint over this part. Yeah, I think uh, so. I think we have removed too much of effect. Now, how can we apply effect again? Set brush value to hundred. Now, just paint over the part that you want back. I think this looks perfect. So now I'll apply vignette effect. It will add a sort of darkness around our main subject. You can also change the value of outer brightness. I think this looks perfect. Not too much. Save. Now let's start from the start where we started. We started here from the tune image, then text, then double exposure and vignette. So in this way, you can do this kind of creativity while uploading the Insta stories or wherever you want. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, do subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon not to miss any of my future videos. Till then, take care and see you soon.